Hi, this is Jen and I am the senior IVCLC with Spectra Baby USA. We are here today for our Wednesday question and answer live. And of course, every week we have a particular topic hi, that we are covering. And today we're going to talk about one of the biggest questions that we probably get and that um, a lot of you have probably asked along your pumping journey or even when you're trying to figure out what breast pump am I going to purchase? What do all these buttons mean? What do settings mean? What does cycles, vacuum, etc. mean? So we're going to talk about all of that today. So again, welcome to Spectre Baby USA. And today is our Wednesday question and answer. We are going to be talking about what do these buttons mean? What do settings mean? And specifically to the Spectre breast pumps. So we're gonna be looking at more specifically the S9 Plus and the S1 Plus. We do, the S1 Plus is just the same as the S2 Plus, except for the S2 is pink in color, the S1 is blue in color, the S1 has an internal battery, and the S2 requires to be plugged in to be used to pump. So those are the differences between the S1 and the S2. And that's why we'll be using the S1 today for demonstration purposes and for looking at the buttons and what these settings mean. So again, welcome everyone. We are going to be talking about settings and buttons on the pump and what, what they mean, because it's really important that you know how to use your pump before it gets down to the nitty gritty, right? Before you're at work or school and all of a sudden you have to pull that pump out and you need to know how to use it in crunch time. So let's go through those buttons. We're gonna start with the S1. And again, don't feel shy to ask any questions. If you have any questions, you can ask them live on Instagram or on Facebook, and we'll make sure to answer your questions as quickly as we can. We love all the waves and the hellos and the thumbs up and the, the hearts. It's fantastic, we love it. We love our moms. Hi, we love our moms and we are moms ourselves. So of course we are speaking from experience. And of course we all had to start as a first time mom ourselves as well. So don't feel shy to ask those questions, okay? So let's start with the S1. And again, the only difference between that pink and blue model is not only the color, no, they're not necessarily for a, for a boy or a girl, even though we get those questions a lot as well. The S1 is blue in color and has the internal battery, which means that you can charge it and you have wireless pumping time of up to three hours, which means that you don't need to be next to a power outlet, whereas the S2 needs to be plugged in. So again, that's the big difference. I know I keep repeating myself, but that does come up a lot and we want to make sure that you guys are good with that. Okay, so this is the S1. And we'll make sure to move it in both locations here. So you will notice that there is a two level nightlight. So that is what this little sun, it looks almost like a little sun, that's what that button does, okay? So it's wonderful when you live in Florida and the power goes out and it's a hurricane. We, our family used it for a nightlight, but also at nighttime when you are pumping and you don't have to wake baby because the pump is quiet, but not only that, you don't have to turn the light on, you can just use that nightlight. So there's the two level nightlight. That's what that little sun button is. Okay, now let's go through the other buttons here. So right here at the bottom is the power button. Now on the S2, that's gonna be pink. On the S1, it's blue. And it's just because it's corresponding with the color of the pump. Hi Kendra, we love that she's saying, I'm currently pumping, that's awesome. Cycle 54, vacuum six, 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love it. I love it. And she's also part of our, our Facebook Pumping Mom group, and it's wonderful. It's so great to see all of the moms supporting each other. It's fantastic. Oh, I love it. We have a, uh, we have a user on uh, Instagram saying that she's using her S1 right now. I love it. Yay. Multitasking at its finest, right, mommies? So when you press that power button, me too. Oh, I love it. Good job, Haley. Awesome. I love it. All these mommies are chiming in saying they're pumping too. <laughs> um, I had a baby on Sunday and, S the, um, and have the S2. So this is boy um, mom 1518 on Instagram. And she's saying, yay. We have another one saying I have the S2 too. Awesome, awesome, mommies. Okay, so let's go through this. Let's learn how to use it, okay? So we're going to press the power button. When you press the power button, you're gonna notice that it starts in what's called expression mode, okay? Now, you're gonna wanna press this little wave button. It's right here in the middle. You're gonna press that wave button, and you're gonna notice that there's a little wave that comes up here, okay? Now, why is this called the massage mode? Or some people call it the letdown mode. Why it's called that is because the cycles up here and is higher than in expression mode. So what does this mean and why is it higher? It's set at 70 because when a baby goes to breast, they're a lot faster, right? Their mouth is going really, really, really fast because they're trying to tell your hormones and your body, hey, let that milk down, come out, feed me, right? So it's eliciting the letdown reflex. Okay, it's it's eliciting the milk to be extracted from the breast to let down and start spraying. And so that's why that that cycle is much higher. That's why we say about how our pumps don't don't suck. They suckle. Right. Because we it's mimicking the baby at breast. And that's really important to keep in mind. So really keep in mind that you're looking for that little wave. So again, let's go through that again. You press the power button. It's going to start in expression mode. See how that those cycles are, are lower? You're going to press that wave again. It's going to be higher. So what the, again, what that means is think about that baby going really, really fast, trying to get that milk to, to let down, right? And once the milk lets down, that's when you press that wave button again, and it goes into expression mode. So let's back up a little bit, and let's look at what a vacuum is. So again, you turn the power on, you press that wave button and you're in massage mode or the letdown mode, okay? Now over here is the vacuum and it can go up and down and you, it will go one to five in massage mode. Now massage mode again is to let, is the, the setting, excuse me, the setting to elicit the letdown. And the vacuum is how strong that baby would be at breast. So cycles is how fast, vacuum is how strong. <laughs> I love Kendra says I call it the bacon mode. That's awesome. All right. So raising my daughter says, why doesn't it start automatically in the mode to encourage the letdown? That's a great question. Um, and that would be a really great question for our manufacturer. Um, however, it does have a memory setting. So it will remember the settings that you have for um, expression mode. However, when you do turn the pump on, it is in expression mode. Yes. <laughs> we do hear that a lot that moms use it better backwards. And so that's why it's really important for us to go through these so that you feel comfortable with your pump and how to use it properly. And again, just like um, just like Kendra was saying that she's part of that, that Facebook mom group and she's starting to ask questions and really learn what's going to work better for her as to how the pump functions and the different settings. And again, it's so customizable. So some moms don't use the massage mode. They don't use the letdown mode. They pump just an expression mode. So they never use that little wave button to go back and forth between the settings. So yes, we certainly understand um, that a lot of individuals say, hey, why doesn't it start in massage mode? And we'll certainly keep working to figure that out, especially speaking with our manufacturer. But again, it's really important to realize that this pump is so customizable. Wonderful. I love it. Another, another person is saying, I just bought my S1 this week um, and she's pumping right now. Awesome. So keep it up. So let's go back through that. So again, cycles is how fast baby is at breast. Vacuum is how strong. So <laughs> Amanda is saying, I'm watching this and it's making me want to pump. 
And <laughs> Stephanie is saying this pretty much the same thing that she's that it's just not she's not ready to be pumping right now. So um, will you save this video to our profile? Yes, absolutely. So on Instagram and Facebook, we'll make sure that this video is available to you afterwards. OK, so let's go through this again. So you press that power button on and you're going to be an expression. You press it into letdown mode or massage mode and it's going to be set at 70. You can see that little wave button. Since this is the S1, you do notice that there is that little battery bar that's going to be up here. And we do not recommend that you charge your S1 or your S9 for longer than four hours at a time. So I'll say that again. Do not charge your S1 or S9 longer than four hours at a time. That's really important. And the reason why we say that is because you do not want to wear the integrity of the battery down just like with a cell phone or a laptop or anything that has an internal battery, if you keep it plugged in for a long time, it's gonna change the life of the battery, the integrity of the battery, so we don't wanna do that, okay? But once the battery is fully charged, you do have up to three hours of pumping time, okay? So that's just what that battery symbol means. Now you also will notice that based on the cycle that you're on, that this little wave button here is gonna be going just as fast as that cycle is set at. Okay, it's just gonna be mimicking that cycle. Again, how fast that baby is at breast. So when you press that wave button again, it's gonna go into expression mode. Expression mode is more so the setting that you use once your milk starts to eject. So once that milk starts to flow for baby, that's when you start to switch to expression mode. Expression mode has all the way down to cycle 30, cycle 38, and again, that's how fast baby is at breast, and it goes all the way up to cycle 54. Now, the average full-term baby is going to have about 46 to 54 cycles per minute at breast. So what does that mean? That means that if your baby is born at full term, that the, ba that the baby is most likely going to be about 46 to 54 cycles per minute at breast. Now, that's not scientific to each baby. That's a range because based on studies that have been done, that's what has been discovered as the range. So that's usually what I recommend as a lactation consultant. I say to moms, if you want a place to start and your baby was full term when born, let's start at about 46 and let's work from there. Play around with those settings. Play around with those cycles to find what's going to work best for you. There's no set pattern. There's no cookie cutter that I, always, that I want mommies to follow. Yes, there's a pattern that you can follow, but there's no cookie cutter answer for every mom and baby because you're each unique and that's wonderful. If we're all the same, life would be so boring. So again, now the vacuum here will go from one all the way up to 12. And again, that's how strong baby is at breast, right? Cycle is how fast, vacuum is how strong. So it will go all the way up to 12 and it will go all the way down to one. Now, please, please, please keep in mind, mommies, that just because it's stronger and faster does not mean better, okay? It should never, ever, ever hurt. It should never be uncomfortable. If that is the case, you need to turn that vacuum down, okay? If, that, if it's still uncomfortable, let's look at if your flange size is correct. Because if it's too fast, it's too strong, and it's painful for you, that can cause swelling. It causes swelling of your nipple, of your areola, and it can ultimately cause damage of the breast tissue. So it's really, really important that you do not work on going too fast and too strong. Okay, so Mama Bear over here on Instagram has said, so during a, a pump cycle, is it normal to need to go back to massage for a second letdown? Absolutely. Thank you so much for saying that. That's wonderful. And that has a really special term there. It's called cyclical pumping. Okay, so it's wonderful to keep in mind that Every mom is very unique and you may not feel subsequent letdowns. You may not even feel the first one. But if you start to see that spraying of milk, guess what? It's a letdown. Yay! And you can have multiple of those while you're pumping. So what I always recommend is if you start to see drip, 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 and it's going really slow, then you want to press that little wave button again. 
Go back to massage mode, right? Go back to massage mode like that baby at breast trying to get that milk going again. So press into massage mode. I'll wait for that milk to really start spraying. And then when it does, press it again and go back to expression mode, okay? So that's wonderful. Thank you for asking that. That's wonderful. And believe it or not, you just figured out cyclical pumping. You didn't even have to go to an LC to figure that out. That's awesome. All right, so I haven't used the massage mode. Is that normal? And that's a wonderful question. Thank you, Ashley. Yes, it is actually. And again, that's why I always say, don't, you can ask people, you can say, hey, what settings do you use? What settings do you use? And that can be very helpful because mom to mom support is incredibly important. However, not all moms use expression mode. Some moms pump the entire time in massage mode and that's wonderful. That's fine. She may respond really, really well to that. So Again, play around with the cycles, play around with the settings and find out what's going to work best for you. Okay, so let's go back over to Facebook and let's make sure that we've answered all these questions. Um, so Crystal is saying, I don't breastfeed anymore, but I don't know what I would have done without your pump. Oh, we love that. It's the only one that actually worked for me. That's wonderful. And I will say I can completely relate, Crystal. We have four angels. We'll have five in November. And the reason I started working with Spectra is because I really struggled after a surgery to make a full supply. And the Spectra breast pump, the S1, was the only one with our fourth that allowed us to completely eradicate the use of donor milk. So I am a huge believer in the Spectra breast pump. And I can tell you personally and professionally, um, Crystal, I can completely relate to you. It's wonderful. I hear that a lot and it just makes me so happy. It makes my heart happy. Okay, so let's look at some more. So uh, Rachel says, I had a Spectra pump, um, breast pump with my youngest daughter almost four years ago. I wish that I would have kept the Spectra, but I got a different pump instead. Um, hopefully, willing, I'll get a Spectra pump with my next baby. Yay, Rachel, yes. And keep in mind, mommies, that you can go to our insurance lookup tool to find a local DME, basically the company that ships the breast pumps out that bills your insurance, you can find one that will work with your state and your insurance policy to make sure that a Spectra breast pump is covered. So if you have any questions, please let us know, but it's basically spectrainsurancelookup.com or you can go to Spectra Baby USA um, to find the insurance tool on there also. So we have, I never can get a second letdown. So should I stay in letdown mode until done basically since I never get that spray again? This is Amanda asking. So Amanda, I would recommend that you do a lot of breast massage. So basically using your hands and massaging around the breast while you are pumping. Also breast compressions can be very helpful, which is basically a C that you create and you basically um, hold the breast until you actually feel or see a better response of the milk releasing. So again, you can massage or you can also um, do breast compressions and that can be very helpful. And also switching between massage and expression can be helpful in playing around with the settings. Also a warm compress before pumping can be helpful in, um, in the releasing any swelling that might be present within the breast and also help to elicit letdown or letdowns while pumping. Other studies have shown that if you play music, that that can be helpful in relaxing um, your body, eliciting better peaks of hormones while pumping, and having a picture of baby or something that smells like baby can be very helpful while pumping also. So you can also check out, we have um, a video that is maximizing pumping output, and that was one of our topics a couple weeks ago. So check that out, Amanda, as well, to see if any of that information will be helpful. Sai also says, what is the best way to get a milk duck out with a pump? So again, some of those same recommendations, warm compresses before pumping, cold compresses after pumping can be helpful. A lot of breast massage can be helpful. 
if you are nursing, varying your nursing position can be very helpful in releasing that clogged duct, as well as changing the tilting or the angle of your flange while you're pumping can be very helpful. And a lot of breast massage, I cannot emphasize that enough. Massage, massage, massage. A lot of um, lactation consultants or resources will say that pointing baby's nose towards the duct can be helpful in releasing it, as well as, again, varying your position. So even changing the tilting of the flange with, along with breast massage can be very helpful. And again, if you have any um, specific questions about pumping or breastfeeding or any lactation management questions, don't feel shy to send a direct message by Instagram or even sending a private message to our Spectra Baby Certified IBCLC Facebook page. And we'll make sure to answer your questions directly. And we can also provide a resource to a certified, Spectra Certified IBCLC in your area who can help you in person as well. Because sometimes, and again, a lot of times, these issues and these concerns really need to be addressed in person. There's only so much that we can answer virtually by phone or by instant messenger. It's so important that we have the big picture. We can ask questions and know a little bit more about background information, which, but it really helps to see that in person, see you and baby in person. Hands-on will really give us a lot more information than asking these questions because it's like putting pieces all together in a puzzle. We need to be able to have all of those pieces to get an accurate picture. So uh, we had wonderful. I love all of the highs and the waves. And if there's anything that we have not been able to cover, please let us know. I love Jamie saying that I'm pumping now using the Spectra S9 Plus and love it. Yay, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Jerry says, um, I keep mine and let down and get several. Wonderful, wonderful. Again, every mom is so different. We have some more mommies over on uh, Tr uh, Triana, I believe I'm saying that correctly. Hopefully, please excuse me if I'm mispronouncing it. She says, um, I have a question about my Spectra pump. Wonderful, ask away, ask away, wonderful. So we have some um, other mommies that are saying that there's some tools out there that make it really helpful to get doing massage while pumping. And there are a lot of resources that you can use, such as hand-free hands -free pumping bras can be helpful in really allowing you to massage. And there's some other tools out there that are available as well that can be very, very helpful. So we have another mommy that says, only pumped for about a month now, but I only pumped for about eight minutes per side and it seemed like I emptied, but I've read most women pump 15 to 20 minutes. Should I be rethinking how long I pump? Well, every mom is very unique and I will say that I have heard personally and professionally that moms don't have to pump as long of time when they use a Spectra pump. And a lot of that might be because it is so customizable and they can play around with the cycles and the suction that they're able to find something that works better and their body responds really well too. So I am not a person um, as a lactation consultant, I do not like to put mommies in a box. I do not like to say that there is a cookie cutter answer for every situation. There is a good guideline that we can follow, but I don't believe in a cookie cutter answer. So to answer your question, I would say that it's a good rule of thumb to pump several minutes after your milk stops flowing. That's always a good thing to follow because it's allowing your hormones to continue to be stimulated and peak. And that ultimately helps to improve your milk supply because you don't want to hinder your milk supply by pumping too little of time. However, if you really feel empty and you're massaging and you are switching between cycles, right? You're going in that cyclical pumping of going from massage and expression, and you still feel like that you're really you're really emptied um, to a, a better degree than when you started. That you feel like that you that you've done a really efficient job at pumping. 
don't worry about not hitting that 15 to 20 minutes, but I would say that you really wanna be pumping several minutes after the milk stops flowing. And usually a good rule of thumb would be about five to seven minutes, but again, really look at how your body is responding. Are your baby's needs being met? Uh, are you able to yield what baby needs? If you're breastfeeding, does, is baby satisfied after nursing? How are your breasts feeling before pumping and how are they feeling after pumping? And again, if you have any specific concerns or questions, always send us a direct message or PM our IBCLC Facebook page that you can be able to get more tailored information specific to you and to baby, because that's really important that we find out the information that's best for you. So let's go over here on Instagram and see if there's any more questions. All right, let's go back over here to Facebook and see. Uh, wonderful, thank you. So the, the IBCLC link is there in the Facebook, the Facebook live video uh, comment stream. So you can go and click on that and send us a private message. And we uh, make sure to answer usually within, within the hour, but certainly within that 24 hour period. And we will always make sure that we're available to your questions or concerns. And then if we, if possible, we will make sure to refer you to a Spectra certified IBCLC. Now we keep referring to that. And what that means is, is that they are an IBCLC. Their international lactation consultant certification has been verified by Spectra Baby USA. And they've also gone through training to be able to know how to best serve how to best answer your questions for spectrum moms that are using spectra pumps and accessories so that's really important so they're not going um i don't know i'll look it up they've actually gone through certification training for spectra baby usa pumps and products and they can help assist specifically to the pumps that you're using so um, I've been using the Spectra, the blue, the S1, and I love it, but I just noticed after I switched to massage mode, I can't change the cycle option. So again, that goes back to what we were talking about, that the massage mode is set at cycle 70. So yes, you cannot change the cycle in massage mode, but you can change the vacuum. The vacuum is how strong baby is. But in, in expression mode, you can change the cycle but the cycle is static at 70. Again, that set at a high cycle to mimic how, ba how quick baby is at breast, that cycles per minute, how fast baby is, and the vacuum, the suction, is how strong baby is at breast. And you can adjust that between one and five uh, in massage mode, and in expression mode, the vacuum can be changed from one to 12. So again, that is normal to answer your question. Let's go back over here. It says, I get most of my output. Whitney says, I get most of my output within the first um, 10 minutes, but pump for about 25 to 30 total before stimulating. Sometimes I get a second letdown, sometimes not. And Whitney, that's very, that's very individual. Every mom is unique, every baby is unique. So again, that's very normal. So, <laughs> yes, yes, it's very normal. So Allison says, does Spectra make a larger collection bottle? And no, we only do make the one size collection bottle that's about five ounces. We are looking into possibly allowing a, a, for a larger option, but at this time we just offer that five ounce option. So let's go and look at the S9 Plus, because we've been talking a lot about the S1 and the S2 Plus, right? But let's talk about that S9. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it over here. Whoops. <laughs> so just like the S1 and the S2, it can be single or double pump, single or double. Uh, you will notice that there is a different battery with the S1 and the S2. It is a 12 volt with the S9, just like the, the number, the S9. It is a nine volt. So make sure that if you have both pump models, make sure that you're keeping in mind you cannot use the same, uh, the same AC adapter, okay? It's very important. This is a nine volt, and the S1 and the S2 is a 12 volt. So make sure that you're not using the same adapter for both. Now, you will notice that they both do have the LED display option. They both do have a power button and a little wave button, but there is a difference. Now, once you press the power button on, it does start into expression mode. 
Okay. And now you just press the little wave button again. There's a glare. Sorry about that. But once you press the wave button again, you'll be in expression mode. Now, with the S9, it is a lot smaller. It's about a half a pound, whereas the S1 and the S2 is about two and a half to three pounds. The, S, the S1 is a little is at three pounds because it has the internal battery. The S2, the pink in color that has to be plugged in, is, a, is about two and, uh, two and a half pounds. So the S9 Plus that we're looking at now is a lot smaller in size but there is less customization with the cycles in expression mode. So again, with, with the S1, the S2, and the S9, the massage mode is set at cycle 70, but you can adjust the vacuum. But in expression mode, the cycles are variable. However, with the S9 that we're looking at now, the cycle is set at, at 70, just like the others. And massage but in expression mode it the cycle is set at 46 so you cannot adjust the cycle for the s9 you can adjust the vacuum right the suction how strong baby is you can adjust that in massage and in expression mode you can adjust that and the LED display is the same just as it is with the s1 and the s2 and there is that battery indicator that's up there in the top and that does indicate how much battery life you have, how much longer you can pump wirelessly without plugging it in. And again, do not charge this pump for longer than four hours at a time, just like we talked about before. No longer than four hours, okay? Now, there is not a two-level nightlight like we saw with the S1 and the S2, but the LED display does, does um, there, but there, but there does, it does light up. So again, it is the illuminated LED display. And in terms of somebody asked, uh, Kat asked on Instagram, can you clip it on to you? No, unfortunately not yet. However, I will say that I have um, gently fit it right into my pumping bra before because I use this a lot when I travel on a plane um, or in the car when I'm going to pick up the kids. Um, I do fit it right into my pumping bra. So no, there's not a belt clip yet. That is something we are looking into, but it does fit perfectly into, I fit it into my jeans pocket, I fit it into my purse, um, my carry-on luggage, and my pumping bra. And it is very and quiet. I'll stop talking for a second so you can hear that. It's very nice and quiet. So there is adjustable vacuums and there is a and you can switch between massage and expression. Okay, so you will notice that in expression you do see that little term up there, expression, and you can switch the vacuum level. Okay, and it is double or single just like the other pumps, double or single. Okay, so let's go back over here and see if there's, are there any plans to get Spectra? Liz asks on Facebook, are there any plans to get Spectra into retail stores? Absolutely. And we are really aiming that to be very sooner or soon uh, rather than later. Uh, we are available online with Bye Bye Baby Stores and Target.com. <clears throat> so with Bye Bye Baby online and Target.com online. <laughs> I love that we have a mommy on Instagram. She, uh, she chimed in and she said, I have a suggestion that will make my husband very happy. Wonderful, wonderful. So we're always open to that. And we will make sure to post a link as well as to how we can get your feedback for any other suggestions that you have. We're always open to hear those as how we can improve to make your lives uh, happier, easier, more simple. So um, if there are any further questions, please make sure to comment on our Instagram or on our Facebook. We're always open to those. We really appreciate that you guys have taken the time out of your day to join us today. Hopefully we've been able to answer those questions that have been nagging you about what these buttons mean, what do these settings mean. Again, look into joining our Facebook mom groups. We have an exclusively pumping mom group, and we have a Spectra pumping mom group. So we have wonderful moms that support each other, and we think that's fantastic because mom-to-mom support is so important. If there's anything else that comes to mind, 
just feel free to comment, send us a message. You can always reach us by phone or by email Monday through Friday, nine to five Eastern Standard Time. If there's anything else, just let us know and we will see you guys next Wednesday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. So thank you again for joining us. We hope you have a fantastic day. Have a great one.